Ready. You ready to fight? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Trying to establish that jab once again. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just unable to quite find that range. Flush right hand is true. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Oh, a huge block there. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. It's under three minutes now to go in the round. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Leg kick. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice right in. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling the slipper. He's doing a great job. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Round two straight ahead. All right, what a round it was for him. A lot of head kicks landed. Scrambled eggs on the other side. We'll see if he can recover. He does a great job of hiding it. He gives you no tell. He doesn't show you when he's coming. That's why those kicks have continued to land, even though he's done it multiple times. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Nice punch by Lee. Another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Whoa! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent yeah, now. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's 
He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And they separate. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Goes attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big clutch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Nice one through there. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> 20 seconds to go round two. <laughs> Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level mixed martial arts. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, that right hand is on point. There's no tell on that leg kick. Nice kick. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Look at him try to shit into his opponent's body with that body kick. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Big head kick lands. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. 
Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Lunges forward with a left there. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision.